just going to do a quick video on a data structure in Python known as a tuple. So what is a tuple? Tuple is a data structure. Um, it's kind of like, like a list, as in it can hold items, but it's different to a list in a very unique way. So let's start by making a tuple, and we'll call our tuple tup1. A lot of people call these uh, tuples, and I'm sure that a lot of probably uh, Spanish speakers call them tuples. This is how it's spelled, by the way. So, um, you know, you guys can pronounce that however you want. because Probably because I'm English, is in British English, I say tuples, uh, just because of how we pronounce things. Right, anyway, a tuple. Let's make one. So, we make a tuple, we just put these parentheses here, as they are, and we put whatever kind of values uh, we want to put inside of here. You know, they don't have to all be the same. It can be all different values. Um, I can put eight. I can put the same value twice or three times if I want. Whatever values I want, I can put in this tuple. So we'll call this tup2. I don't know why I called it tup2. It's actually the first tuple. So I'll call it tup1. Okay. So we'll create that there. And then we'll print tup1, just to confirm that uh, it really works. Okay, so 9, hello world, true, 8, 8, and 3. Also, I've been just using variables like this, typing them into the console. Um, instead of printing, you can do this, guys, and it'll give you an output of all the values of the item uh, if you want. But you don't have to. You can use print or you can use this method. If you don't have a console, you'll have to use print. Anyways, this tuple here, it looks like a list, apart from the fact that it's got these parentheses instead of having brackets. But it differs from a list in the sense that in a list, I can, for example, let's make a list, list one. And list one will give it the exact same values, okay? give it the same values and then we'll print this list print list one here quite simple that exactly the same now list one dot append uh, we'll append the word cool yeah cool oh what oh okay I've made that a tuple when I should have made it a uh, a list. Sorry there. List is square brackets, not circle brackets. Okay, so yeah, well you can see you've got a hint there. But list one dot append cool. And now if I print list one again, you see there's got there's the word cool there. Okay. If we use tuple one dot append and we append the word cool. Sorry about that. I uh, kind of let it slip. It says tuple object has no attribute append. So the tuple won't allow me to append any items to it. In fact, there's no way to add anything to a tuple. Um, and you also can't delete anything from a tuple. You can make a new tuple uh, without one of the items in the old tuple. But you cannot delete items from a tuple or add items from a tuple. You basically cannot alter it in any way. And I'll prove it here by trying to make tuple one zero, which is nine. I'll try and make that equal to 99 instead. And you'll see an error, tuple object has no, or tuple object does not support item assignment. This means I cannot reassign the values of these items in the list. I cannot delete any of these items in the tuple, sorry, not the list. And I can't add new items to the tuple. So basically this tuple will never change once it's uh, once it's been assigned. I can delete this variable, tube one, for example. Um, I could reassign the values of the entire variable, but I can't actually change the variable other than that once it's been made. So yeah, basically it's something that is immutable and you're guaranteed that it will always stay the same unless you do something weird to it. 
One thing you can do, however, is you can put the tuple into a list if you want. So we can say tup list and we'll say that tup list is equal to tup1. So that's the tuple and hello. So now we have a list. Okay. Tup list there and you can see that it's got the square brackets around it showing that it is a list list data structure and the first item in the list data structure is a tuple data structure or a tuple completed tuple there the second item is a string okay so we can put these into lists in tuple list okay what i can do here for tuple list I can change the first item and I can turn it into the number 99. Don't know why that had a syntax error, just didn't wait for me. And let's, I can print it out, I'll print it out after this. Top list is totally defined. It totally is defined. What are you talking about? How is it not defined? Um, what what print top list oh i see i used a capital l doesn't matter i'll use the print statement that i should have used you can see that's changed to 99 and hello so i was able to change the first item in the list to not a tuple but if i reassign top list now the first item is a tuple and i print top list again And now I try to change the item within the tuple. So here I'm going to access index zero of the tuple list, which is this. And then I'm going to access index zero of index zero of the item at index zero. So first of all, the first zero here is me, uh, me looking at the index zero of this list which is the tuple item the second zero is me looking at index zero of that item which is nine okay so whenever you see this double uh, square brackets and a number it's not some crazy magic the first one is accessing uh, the item in whatever it is whether it be a list a tuple or whatever and the second one is accessing the index zero of the item within the first data structure okay because this this data structure here this is actually an item within another data structure so you can access the first index of the data structure of the list data structure and then the first index of the tuple inside of it so that's what we're doing here and index is start at zero in python now if i try and change it to 99 see there how it's giving me a syntax error it's not now Undefined tuple list, are oh, you? Yeah. Course, course, up and lowercase. If I actually try and assign it now, it says that the tuple object does not support assignment. So even within the item in the list, I cannot reassign this tuple. Okay, I cannot. I just cannot change that. So as long as I don't change the first item to not be a tuple, I'll never be able to change that tuple within the list itself. Okay, so that's just me kind of demonstrating that. It's impossible to change a tuple without just deleting it. However, let's say I want to add an item to a tuple. So let's let's make another tuple and we'll call it tup2. And tup2, we'll give it some values, 3, 5, 6, and 9. Okay. Let's say I want to add the value 11 to the tuple. Uh, to the tuple. Well, I can't, but what I can do is I can make list two and list two actually is going to be a list conversion of tuple two so what this list function here does it turns this thing inside of here into a list if that's a pos if it's possible to do so oops i need to run them so let's print them both so we'll print tup two just look at them to make sure that they've correctly come out yep that's right and we'll print list two as well okay 
and you'll see that list2 is exactly the same as took2, but it's converted into a list. Now, because I can append to a list, we can put list2.append11, because that's the value I want to be added to there. Okay, so list2.append11. And if we look at our list2, we have 3, 5, 6, 9, and 11. Now what we can do is make a new tuple called tuple3, and we can make it equal to tup list2. So it makes it equal to a tuple of that list. Oh, sorry. It's actually the entire word. It's tuple, not tup. So tuple is the function that converts another data structure into a tuple if possible. So this will convert list2 into that into a tuple. And if we look at tuple3, or tup3 as I've called it, you'll see that it has the values 3, 5, 6, 9, and 11. So I couldn't change tup2 in order to add 11, but I could make a list, a list version of that, add something to the list, and then turn the list with a new value into a tuple in order to get a tuple, the tuple that I wanted. So it was possible to make a tuple of the values I wanted, but I, ca I could not change tuple 2. Okay. Now these tuples, I wouldn't worry about them too much. Um, they're not used very often, really. Um, in Python, really, lists are what are used more often. You may end up using these if you want a very robust and immutable data structure, but it's probably unlikely you'll even use them. But, you know, you may use them. They may come into play, so it's still worth teaching. Uh, I'm not going to do a practice video because... Really, this is all you need to know, and this is all there is to it.